This is the Ogre from MadOgre.com and Armed American Radio and WeTheArmed.com. I just left Raleigh, North Carolina, heading back to the coast, and I've got an observation regarding barbecue. North Carolina is famous for its vinegar-based sauce and pulled pork barbecue. North Carolina is probably absolutely the best when it comes to pork barbecue. Nothing, nothing else touches it. You might have your own opinion about the matter, and that's fine. And if it's different from mine, that's wrong. And God bless America, you have the right to be wrong about your pork barbecue. But North Carolina is just the best. Now, for as good as North Carolina barbecue is, it's pork. North Carolina is terrible at beef-based barbecue. And specifically, I'm talking about brisket. Because going around different barbecue places in North Carolina, and granted, I have not been to all of them, even though, you know, I am doing my best to do so. My opinion, though, is that North Carolina is terrible at the beef. I'm sorry, it, it just it, it just is. Because out of all the places I've been, the best brisket sandwich I've had in North Carolina, I just had at the fast food equivalent of barbecue, Dickie's Barbecue, where I had a uh, chopped brisket sandwich, which compared to everything else I've had, it, it, it was fantastic. Now, this is relatively speaking. So I've come to the conclusion that if you want good beef-based brisket, you're going to have to make it yourself in North Carolina because I've yet to find any place that does it justice. And this is sad because the Dickies uh, chopped brisket sandwich, the sauce was good. Dickies does a good red, you know, sweet, spicy uh, barbecue sauce. It, it's good if you if you want that red style barbecue sauce, which is good on which is good on brisket and beef and ribs and whatnot. It's good. The beef itself, while cooked tender, uh, it had the flavor of dishwater. I mean, it, it, the meat was flavorless. However, they cooked that brisket. They cooked all the flavor out of it, which not only do I find shocking, but, you know, just so disappointing. Especially when, remember what I said before, that was the best brisket I've had from any barbecue place in North Carolina. So, that's the measure. Flavorless tasteless beef that was it's, guys guys if that is the best I've had in North Carolina when it comes to beef North Carolina needs to make something of itself when it comes to beef barbecue I'm also of the opinion that the best beef barbecue is in Texas very close second to that is Kansas. I've had Kansas barbecue and it was exquisite. However, this is a little hot tip. Don't let your head get too big. But the very best brisket I have ever had in my life, honestly, was cooked by my good friend and pitmaster Mark Walters of Armed American Radio fame. And this was cooked in a Weber Smoky Mountain smoker, the large one. I mean, there's the smaller one, you get the larger one. 
and uh, we went over the uh, he taught me how to do it and we went over the process which I outlined on grilling while arms webpage on Facebook so go to Facebook and look up grilling while armed that is uh, uh, our project I started it it was something that we started together me and Mark Walters on armed American radio uh, I started the Facebook page and we've got a commercial site coming up uh, where we're gonna you know you're able to get some of the best best very best rubs and spices and uh, we looked long and hard and we found the best uh, to be coming from a joint called TexasBarbecueRub.com and we made fast friends with a fellow named Bill Cannon who is helping us out with that Bill Cannon makes the best spices for your barbecue he is a wizard so there is that check it out at Facebook slash grilling while armed you will like it you will think it's awesome I do because you got to take guns seriously and you got to take your barbecue seriously in North Carolina you got the pork but you need to start taking the beef seriously that is all